Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of the Brummy Kai Pond. On today's episode we're going to look at the filtration system, the original filtration system which you can see in front of you there, which is a four chamber Vortex OAS 30,000 litre setup and the build of the drum filter and the biological filter and the filter house. Hope you enjoy the video. Over the next few slides you'll see the build of the filter house. This was all made from scratch, no design, straight out of my head um, and took approximately two days to build. You will see later in the video that I had to make some alterations to the filter house as it wasn't big enough to house both filters and all the pipe work. Hey, I did say I did build it off the cuff, there was no design. We all make mistakes. There's one of mine. In this slide, we can see the pipework has gone into the filter house, which will supply the filters from the bottom drain within the pond. We're now gonna take a look at the build of the new filters, starting with the biological filter, the moving bed, and then moving on to the drum filter. I would at this point like to point out that the design for these filters was the design of Righty. Please go and visit Righty on YouTube. And as you can see, the backdrop here is his web page with his website address on there. Please go and visit him. The design and, and drawings that he provided were well worth the money. Highly recommend visiting Righty's YouTube channel and seeing his videos and the design and building these filters. Thanks Righty, really appreciate it. So the two chambers you see here, the one on the right is the biological chamber and the one on the left will be the drum filter. They are made from 4 mil 316 marine grade stainless steel, which is a slight differential from Reuters design. However, that's my take on the filters. And, you know, for me, it works. Yes, it wasn't easy. It was a lot more difficult, but it's what I wanted to do. And I'm more than happy with how they turned out. As you can see here, the internal to the filters are a mirror finish. This reduces down the amount of debris that clings to the side of the filters, thus makes it much simpler to keep clean. Well, I don't mind sharing with you, the drilling of the holes in this four mil marine grade stainless steel is not easy. You need specialized drilling hole saws. You know, don't think it's gonna be simple. Each hole took around about 30 minutes. So made the build time a lot longer, but Again, like I said earlier, more than worth it, in my opinion. So the biological chamber is finally in the filter house. Temporary pipe work plumbed to it to get it up and running so we can get some bacteria build up within this filter. Obviously, this pipe work is only temporary and will be replaced when the new drum filter is in situ. Here we can see the bio chamber up and running, more than happy with the turnover of the media should make a good filter. Moving on with the build of the drum filter, you can see in these first few slides, the drum being put together. Here we can see various stages of the build, parts being fitted and removed, reworked, refitted, making sure that everything works as it should. Challenges are with using four mil stainless steel, things are very difficult to drill, things are very difficult to fit to, um, but it's one of those challenges that you overcome. It's the choice that I made. I wanted to make it out of stainless steel and I'm more than happy with the end result. This is the first test of the drum rotating, making sure that it rotates freely and not catching on anything. Another test here of the drum rotating with the filter in its correct orientation, just ensuring that it rotates correctly. Now time to test the water jets to make sure they operate correctly and provide good pressure to clean the filter.
this is the final test to ensure everything's working correctly before the filter is put into place within the filter. few slides here showing the completed filter and how it looks within the filter house. Filter is now operational, you can see it here operating on its own steam, showing the water going down the drain into the land drain next to the filter. This is the filter now. You can see it's got the UV built in. I'm just going to trigger it if I can. Get my arm down there without killing myself. There we go. Water shining. You're going to see this going down the drain. If you enjoyed watching this video and you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe. Any comments, please drop me a comment below. All it leaves me to say is thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. See you soon. Bye.